Hello viewers, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be learning SSL certificates. What are the information available in the SSL certificate? And what are the information we have to check in the SSL certificate? So this is an SSL certificate. Uh, I'm going to open the certificate. Here you can see handshake protocol certificate. So I'm going to open the certificate. Okay, here open this opened the certificate. Here this handshake type certificate. The length of the certificate is 2,146. Then certificates. The actual length of the certificate is, is certificate is 2,143. Now I'm opening the certificates. Here we can see we have two certificates. The first one is the leaf certificate. The first one is the leaf certificate. So this certificate is called leave certificate and this certificate is called the intermediate certificate. This certificate, second certificate is called intermediate certificate. So leave certificate and intermediate certificates. Now I'm going to open the leave certificate. Okay, here is the leave certificate. I'm going to open the certificate. Here I can see some information is encrypted. Okay, I'm going to open the signed certificate. Okay, here we go, signed certificate. Okay, signed certificate, the version, the certificate version is three, then serial number. So version and serial number, these are not, so these are not important. Next, signature, here is the field. We have to look into eight. Here is the signature is show 384. Then algorithm ID. This is the signature algorithm used to sign this certificate. Next issuer. So you can see who is the issuer of this certificate. So here you can see the country of the issuer, US, and the city of the issuer, province. The state of the issuer is Washington and the locality name Redmond and the organizational name Microsoft and common name is Microsoft ECC content distributions secure service. So he is, it is the receiver, which is Microsoft Corporation. So I can trust to the receiver, sorry, issuer. So the issuer is legitimate. He, Microsoft Corporation is the valued receiver. So I can trust the certificate. Then the validity here, even though the certificate is legitimate, we have to check the validity of the certificate. So here you can see from 2020 to 2021, from 10, 12 to 10, 12. So this certificate is valid because the date of today's date is 27 for 2021, which is between the dates. Okay, so this certificate is valid. Next, subject sequence. Here you can see the subject sequence. It tells about the issuer and the certificate information for what the certificate is used for and why the certificate is used for, okay, and the purpose of the certificate and the issuer. Here you can see the same information as available as you show in the issuer field. You can see here, the same information available here. The issuer's country, US and state, Washington and the locality, Redmond, Organization name, Microsoft, organizational unit name, DSP, and common name or is the website name, domain name. Then relative distinguished name. Okay, here you can see the organizational unit name, the string. So these are the information. So subject is about the purpose of the certificate or the usage of the certificate. Then subject public key information. So these are the public key information of the certificate. So the server has to register this certificate. So this is the registered public key of the server. So this is the public key of the server, which is re registered uh, in the certificate authority. So the certificate authority has uh, attached the public key with the certificate. So anybody can see the public key of the certificate, so the server. Next, the extension field. 
it tells about the usage of the key and subject key identifier. So these are all the extension field tells, defines. Next algorithm identifier, the algorithm used to encrypt the data. Next, the, the intermediate certificate. Signed the certificate, where you can see the signature. Signature algorithm ID to show SHA384. Then the issuer of the certificate, same Microsoft Corporation. So valid issuer, then validity between 2018 to 2033. So validity is a valid certificate. Then subject information, same information about the issuer, so the certificate, then subject key information. Here you can see the public key of the certificate, then algorithm identifier, the algorithm used to encrypt the data. So here you can see the encrypted message. So these are the information. We have to give some, some importance. Okay, thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubt, please drop your questions in the comment section. And thank you. See you later.